it should honestly not even have to be explained to people why this is wrong because it just looks wrong and you guys make all equestrians look bad you guys are the reason why people think that riding horses in general is abusive Hey bitch, and welcome back to me talking about people I hate. You know, every few times a year, the big lick pops back up into my emails, my recommended, or I stumble across it. Unfortunately, there is a small but growing Big Lick TikTok channel, and we're gonna fucking talk about it because shit like this really pisses me off. This is not only animal abuse, and it's not only illegal in all 50 states, but it's also hilarious to me that there's such a gray area surrounding Big Lick that people don't even know how to enforce these laws. And I think this needs to be abundantly clear to everybody that this just needs to stop, okay? End the Big Lick, thank you. It's 2021, we've known for years, literally decades, that this is animal abuse and cruelty. Hello, big mama. Diesel fuel and other harsh caustic chemicals are used in a practice called soaring, the intentional infliction of pain to a horse's legs or hooves to produce an artificial, flashy, high step known as the big lick. Forced to wear unnatural high-heeled shoes, horses have harmful chemicals applied to their legs, while wraps cook the substances into the horse's skin. The legs become extremely irritated and sensitive, triggering a pawing motion that indicates severe pain. Heavy chains and rollers strike the legs with each step, producing the big lick. A 2011 HSUS undercover investigation exposed the cruelty behind these competitions. Obviously, we came to drag some bitches in this video. But before we get into it, I just want to say a massive thanks to this video's sponsor, which is obviously me. Thank you so much to Link Equestrian for sponsoring this. This was actually one of our exclusive collections that we came out with, but if you guys want me to come out with another End Big Lick collection, definitely thumbs up this video to let me know and I will get that going for you. But otherwise, we do monthly giveaways and we also are an animal activist apparel line, so make sure to click the link down below if you want to support us over there. fucking hate watching videos like this dude I can't even tell you what this does to my mental health to have to sit down and continuously see people blatantly abuse animals and not only blatantly abuse them but post about it on TikTok or YouTube and then claim that what they're doing is not abuse these people are actively responding to the hate comments they get trying to justify their abuse maybe there's something wrong with you maybe there's a fucking fire if there's that much smoke okay bitch anyway so today we are talking about R trip or art rip stables I'm not entirely sure on how to pronounce it but it doesn't fucking matter abuse stables is probably the proper name to give these people and before we even get into the abuse behind big lick and the soaring I just want to say that this is a child I am going to be blurring this child's face I think it's incredibly irresponsible and such bad parenting to post videos of your child riding abused horses and upload that to the internet where you are consistently getting hate for this content because it is by law in all 50 states animal abuse and you are showing your child's face in not only these photos but the videos as well How 
irresponsible of a parent are you? I want people to know right off the bat, I will be blurring this child's face. This is a minor. This is not the kid's fault. And I want to put that out there in the beginning of the video because it's such irresponsible parenting. And I don't want this kid to receive any hate because it's not the kid's fault that the kid has shitty parents and they raise this child to believe that animal abuse is okay. So I'm not going to be blaming the kid for riding these abused horses. Oh, God, I can't. Like, why would you post this? Dude, th these people, their mentality, their mindset, the way that they think just fucking blows me away. The fact that they think that any of these videos are the least bit acceptable to be uploading to the general public is fucking hilarious and incredibly incriminating for themselves. Yes, big lick competitions might be legal right now, but they are soon to be illegal and banned, and you guys are straight up just incriminating yourself across all platforms on social media. Big lick is 150% abusive. Let's not forget about the fact that there are so many trainers who came out when all of the bans and laws started coming out against soaring in big lick competitions, saying that it is essentially impossible to get the big lick, which is the exaggerated gait in Tennessee walking horses that you see in competition, without soaring them. If there are legitimate Tennessee walking horse trainers who competed in these competitions who came out and said that, don't you think they should probably be believed? Every every trainer, sword sword horses. I mean, every every trainer sword horses. I mean, uh, you have to, you have to 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 get them to walk. At some point in time, I know. A lot of a lot of the trainers say, you know, you don't have to do any, anything to this horse. Well, at one time, he's he's had to be sore. I mean, the horse has had to be sore to to walk. And that's whether it's a flat shod horse. Flat shod, uh, padded. It don't it doesn't matter. This page on TikTok is openly supporting Big Lick as well and actively commenting on Art Rip Stable's TikTok page, defending them. And when I clicked on their page, it's essentially a whole bunch of bullshit about how these stacks, which are these platforms that you put on the horse's feet, don't cause soaring and don't hurt the horse in any way and they're basically trying to say that the competition is heavily regulated in big lick that is incredibly flawed the system itself has so many issues within it and they have been exposed over and over again for allowing people who lightly soar horses to continue to compete their horses with evidence of previous soaring so you can't sit there and tell me that oh big lick should be allowed because we have people who come in who regulate it and make sure the horses are not soared? No, you don't. You literally don't. The people who go to these competitions to make sure the horses are not soared don't even go through the checks needed to make sure the horses aren't soared. And when they do, nine times out of 10, they end up letting people who have soared horses compete anyway. They just give them a small fine. A lot of the DQPs, and that's the inspectors uh, are are being paid to let horses through. So I just want to say that anybody who is defending Big Lick is just wrong all around. This is 100% abusive. There is no reason to do this to horses, and it is just fucking cruel. It is 100% animal cruelty at its finest. <laughs> Oh, God, I 
can't. Just imagine being in the mindset where you think it's appropriate to post content like this to the internet. The comments that they get on their channel are so bad that you would almost think that these people would gain some common sense and take their channel down. I think it's so funny that people in the big lit community think that they're treated so unfairly and they think that people just have some random bias towards them. No, people don't like you guys because you abuse animals. Yes, Tennessee walking horses are gated, but their natural gait looks nothing like Big Lick. And I just fucking love that this channel responds to people by saying that it's natural. The way that our horses move is 100% natural. Bitch, you literally have in your hashtags padded horses. So tell me how that's natural. If your horses walking like this in this exaggerated gait was natural, then why do you have to have the stacks on their feet? Which are also illegal, mind you. Oh yes, we do have stacks on our horses' hooves, but we don't soar them. Soaring is all of the above. It's the chemicals that they put on the horse's legs to bake into their legs and make them very sensitive and have blisters develop and just incredibly painful. But soaring also includes chains and stacks that go on the horse's feet and the pads that go between the hoof and the actual stacks that causes pressure within the hoof cavity. Well, when they use the putty, I mean, what, what that, it, it puts pressure on the bottom of their foot, just like the bolts would do if you was if you was tightening a bolt into their foot. It puts pressure. The hoof and the nail pad. Yeah, it goes between the the hoof and the and the nail pad, and it and it does the same when you when you nail the the pad down. Then it then that that putty swells. When it swells, then they got pressure on their foot on the sole of their foot. And that hardens, and when it when when it hardens, then then it's all it's it's there until they take it out, and then after when they take it out, the sore in their in their sole of their foot is there, and it'll stay there for a couple of days. All of that falls under soaring, and soaring is illegal in all 50 states. So that really just goes to show you how the animal welfare officials at these big lick competitions are failing miserably. I, I don't even like making videos like this because it makes me sound like a broken record. We should not have to openly speak out about something hundreds of thousands of times before somebody finally makes it illegal. And thankfully, there is a new law coming out soon which should ban all big lit competitions. But the fact that you guys are not embarrassed and the fact that you guys have the audacity to continuously post content like this is shocking. And not only teach their child that riding abused horses is okay, but publish their child's unblurred face to the internet riding abused horses that in a few years is going to be completely outlawed and illegal across all 50 states to compete at these competitions. The audacity of these people is just unfucking real. I just feel so fucking bad for these horses, dude. How stupid do you think people are? Do you honestly think that people are gonna believe that when you say it's natural, that they're gonna actually think that these horses naturally move with such an exaggerated gait, that they naturally have such a high, uncomfortable head carriage? Look at how uncomfortable these horses look. And you're gonna sit there and tell me that without all the soaring to their feet, that these horses would naturally move this way? These are just the worst people, man. These are just the fucking worst. I thought it was funny because literally even Shelby commented and I was like, yes, girl, yes. I'm so glad that I'm not the only large equestrian who's speaking out against this TikTok page. I mean, these people don't even know how to train a two-year-old horse. They don't even know how to start horses and do basic training. Just look at this video.
yeah, bitch, you're gonna tell me that you know anything about horses at all because nobody's believing you. Everyone needs to share that Big Lick is wrong. So just because there's a small gray area that still allows people to compete in Big Lick competitions to this day does not make it okay. And it doesn't mean that it should continue, and it does not mean that it should be condoned. These people should be ashamed of themselves. And even if you don't use chemicals, putting pads and stacks on their feet with chains is considered soaring under United States laws. And I think that TikTok should absolutely remove this page, and I think everybody should go report these people, because this goes against TikTok's community guidelines. They are violating community guidelines by actively abusing animals on their TikTok page. Soaring is animal abuse under United States laws in all 50 states, which is where they live, and they are violating animal abuse laws by uploading content like this, which in turn violates TikTok's animal abuse and cruelty guidelines. It should honestly not even have to be explained to people why this is wrong because it just looks wrong. And you guys make all equestrians look bad. You guys are the reason why people think that riding horses in general is abusive. Riding horses in general is not abusive. You guys are abusive and you guys abuse your horses and you guys are what gives equestrians and the equestrian industry a bad name. I don't consider you guys to be horsemen or women. And I think that you guys should quite honestly be arrested and go to jail for animal cruelty. But I think all these horses need to be taken away and given to better homes. Don't go send the child any hate. It's not the kid's fault that he has bad parents, he or she. These are the worst of the worst of the equestrian industry, especially when they're trying to normalize abusive behaviors and make everybody else think that they're not abusing animals. Um, even to the naked eye, people who don't know anything about horses know that you're fucking wrong. So good luck with that.